first time I met Paddy, I prepared myself for, you know, Jerry Conn and Mark II in, in a, you know, a, a Clontarf version. And, and I met this man who was just so kind of calm and relaxed and making jokes. And I was thinking, whoa, this is not what I expected at all. The anger isn't there. And so I wrote about what I saw. Uh, and I was really intrigued actually by it because it was a different narrative. Than, than, the, than the classic type of, you know, victim of a miscarriage of justice who goes out there and fights the battles of other people. This was a man living a quiet, ordinary life with his family who really was, wasn't thinking about it in his daily life, just going on with things. My children started asking me, like, Dad, one night they were going, Dad, you, you never tell us about prison. Will you tell us about prison? I said, well, it'd be hard to sign the says, Well, let me show them, why don't you write about it? Come to prison just to write a book about prison, but I mean, yeah, Jerry wrote one, Paul wrote one, and I wanted a story to tell. And I realized I, the title, Life After Life, and I have a life after, after that life. Now I could write about something that was very dear to me. I had the bad experience in, in the prison, and now I have the great experience of living in Clontarf and, uh, and having a family. I remember a conversation with my publisher, and I said, listen, He's holding back on me. I know he's holding back on me. What do I do? And he says, you're just going to have to be ruthless. And I said, but how? Because Paddy's gentle and he's kind and I love him and, and I don't want to argue with him. And he says, you're going to have to have that argument. And, and that was hard because, you know, there were these lines and, and I had to do a job and Paddy was asking me to do the job and the publisher was asking me to do the job. So there were moments when I had to think of our relationship differently. Her play to Mary, I mean, she, she dragged it out of me because some of it was uh, very hard to to talk about and she stuck to it you know what I mean she she fought we fought and fought and fought but we we were still good friends and I think if she hadn't have done that we wouldn't have had a book for me to write a book it had to be total book it had to be the bad parts the good parts and whatever when the book was launched I, I even thought I said what are people actually going to think now once once they read once they read a book what happened to me and whatever and the response was, has been unbelievable it would be easy to think that it was just a political story, just another rehash of the same story everyone knows. It's told from a different perspective. It's told from Paddy's perspective, and it's a very human story about how do you come to be a victim like this, if, if there's such an answer, and, and then how do you survive it? Nobody's told that story before. That's not a political story. It's a story about human resilience and about survival and about coping strategies. I I'm so glad that I picked Clontarf to spend, spend my life in because it's a, such a great place to be. Counties here, the Shares, my local pub. And, and when I first started coming in here, you know what I mean? You're, not many people only, but there was a few of my neighbours living next door to me over here and we got together and then everybody, we all became friends and it, it was great. The atmosphere was brilliant. I actually had three lives. I had one in Belfast and I had one in London in prison and then I had one when I came out. The life I have now is uh, the most best thing that ever happened to me. Probably, if you look at it, if I didn't go to England that time, what, what, where, where would I have been? What, what would I have done? And if I hadn't come down to Dublin for the name of the Father, then God knows where I'd have been. And I'm just grateful that I can actually tell the story to people, and, and so, and mainly so that it doesn't happen again. That people understand and don't forget about Jerry and Carl and, and what, what, the, what we all went through and not let it happen to other people and that's, that's another reason why the book was written.